Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing this absolutely gorgeous red poppy long line underbust corset. This is made by Unartig Boutique based in Germany. So here's the front, side, the back, and the other side. I gave my measurements to Lotta when she was making this corset for me, but this is available as a standard size corset. The center front of my corset is about 11 and a half inches, and then from uh, the underbust to the top of the lap here is 10 inches. Because I have a longer torso from the waist up, this was made with uh, six inches between the, the underbust and the waist here, and then four inches from the waist to the bottom so that I will be able to sit down comfortably. So I really love the way that it comes up and curves just under the bust here. If you were to purchase this in a standard size, it's available from size 22 up to 40 inches, closed waist measurement. The corset that I'm wearing today closes at 24 inches at the waistline. So if you were buying the standard size, then it would be about uh, 30 inches at the underbust, 24 at the waist, and 37 at the high hip. However, mine was made a little bit slimmer to fit my slimmer hips here. For the silhouette, you can see that it has a bit of a rounded or cupped rib cage here. So it comes down mostly and then it nips in uh, a little bit dramatically at the waistline. So this is very comfortable on my ribs and it doesn't compress them a lot. I also really, really love how flat it is in the profile. The center front here is fairly rigid and uh, you can see that there's absolutely no bowing out uh, at the bottom here at, at all. Uh, I find it very posture corrective as well. And when I was looking over this corset, I noticed that the top edge here has a very unique cut to it. So you can see that obviously it contours under the bust, it has a very uh, gentle point here in the center front. And then around here, where the underwire stops, it comes back down again to swoop uh, towards the back so that it's not going to interfere with your arms or anything. I have full range of motion with my arms, it's not cutting into my armpit or anything. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a long line corset coming down low over the sides of the hips here and towards the back. And so if you have a bit of a shorter torso, you can still wear a long line corset. You would just have to contact Lotta and ask her to cut down the corset so that it might be made to measure for you. So it would look like a long line corset on you, but it would still allow you to sit down properly. So here is the poppy corset laid flat and look at how beautifully this embroidery was pattern matched throughout the, uh, the front six panels here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, if I open it up here, you'll also see that it has a German spot brooch. This is a special type of coutille. So this is uh, both decorative and also uh, very, very strong in and of itself. So this is strong enough for even single layer corsets. I just wanna show you a close up of this um, pattern matching here because it was so gorgeous and so well done. So uh, the poppies were embroidered onto this uh, course, coarser weave um, canvas here. And then you can see a lovely little piping right there to separate it. And then uh, the fashion fabric for the rest of the corset is a bit of a finer weave canvas. This corset has 16 panels total. It comes from an eight panel pattern. So you can see here one, two, three, four, and this marks the side seam here five, six, seven, eight. And looking on the inside, it looks like it was uh, constructed using the welt seam method, which is very sturdy and uh, it works very well. And the bones are sandwiched in between the, the layers. Turning to the inside, I can see a waist tape that is invisibly stitched in between the layers here. I can see that it starts uh, about at the seam between panels one and two and going back uh, to the seam between panels seven and eight there. The binding is made from bias strips of the same matching fine weave canvas that you can see in the corset here. So it matches the fashion fabric and it's machine stitched on the outside. And then on the inside here, you can see that it was all hand secured down. So you don't see any extra seams. It's really beautifully done and very smooth inside and out. There was no modesty panel that came in the back of this corset. However, there is a uh, half inch wide modesty placket under the knob side of the busk here so that when you put the busk together, you don't see any um, of your clothing or your skin showing through. The busk used in my corset is 10 and 3 quarter inches long, just short of 11 inches. And again, it's finished in this black coating so that um, the hardware doesn't break up the really beautiful motif in the front here. So it is a standard flexible busk with five loops and pins. 
uh, the bottom two are a little bit closer together and it is a bit of a, a flexible busk uh, half an inch on each side but it also has this other half inch wide flat steel bone on either side of the busk adjacent to it which helps to significantly um, add to the sturdiness of this corset my magnet can detect uh, the steel bones in this corset, so I know that they are all steel. And uh, this corset is single boned on the seams, but these bones are much wider than you would normally find in a corset. So I believe these are uh, half an inch wide bones instead of two quarter inch wide steel bones. So it almost works out to be the same. And there are 22 bones total in this corset. So here in the front, there is a flat steel bone by the busk, and of course two flat steel bones in the back by the grommets here. And then on the side of the corset, uh, in the middle panels, you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There are two that are right beside each other there, so there's a lot of posture support in this corset. There's a total of 26 grommets in this corset, 13 on each side. I believe they are five millimeter wide prim eyelets finished in black. And you can see that they are set a little bit more than an inch apart at the top and bottom, but at the waistline, they're set closer together for more um, ease of cinching around the waistline here. Showing the underside of the grommets, nice big washers. All of them have rolled really nicely. They're set quite securely. I don't see any um, splits. No abrasion of the laces, none of them are wobbly or coming out. And the laces in the back of this corset are uh, about three eighths of an inch wide or about uh, a little bit less than a centimeter wide. Double face satin ribbon, absolutely no stretch to them. They glide through the grommets quite nicely. I can cinch up very easily. They hold the bow well, nice low profile. They don't add a ton of bulk. Um, they're definitely long enough, so they're great. The price for the Poppy Longline Underbus by Unata Boutique starts at 400 euros, which is about $460 in the US. So I hope you enjoyed this review and you found it informative. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or uh, Unata Boutique in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer your questions or forward your questions over to Lotta. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.